Hello, this is Liz with Crafty Devotion, and today we are going to learn how to make this lavender bauble. This was one of very popular after I made several baubles, and this is one that some of my subscribers, my subscribers wanted to see. So this will be it. And then in that my last video, I asked which other one would you like to see along with it? And here is the winner. After I tallied the score, is the red one. But I will be showing you still, I will be doing this one in front of you and this one, but I will show you some of the differences of this one. And where's my gold one? And the gold one. So I'll show you some of the, the differences and maybe in the future I may make a video, but right now it's, it's already December and so I want to get you going with your crafting. And I did put a few kits together for lavender. I think I have about five left. I made about 12. This is number 13, so you can actually, if you want, I realize I sell everything that I design and make. So you could, if you want, buy this one and the one I'm going to make now. And this is what your kit will look like. It'll just be in a bag with um, all the things you need. And these are all the things you need right here that you will get in your kit. And you will get um, several flowers. Here you go. And... Um, I did have enough. I said I didn't have enough, but I had enough of this for you to get one of these that I got from Amy Love from Shabby is Chic Boutique. You will get a piece of chain, one of these blings in silver, and then you will receive a strip of this beautiful trim. And if you didn't know this, I actually carry this lavender trim in my shop, and I this is the first time I designed it. And you will receive it. this beautiful piece of just a plastic small um, beads along with a nice square of fabric. Now I give you enough fabric to actually have extra. So um, the reason I wanted to do that is because I wanted you to know that you could actually also um, just trim it apart and then make a flower with it. So I'm gonna show you how to so do that. So if you wanna make like, maybe, maybe you decide to use right now, I'm using a two and a half inch ball but there are also larger balls. If you choose to change the ball and use a larger ball, you will be able to still do it. So I put in your kit a small two and a half inch ball, but I think this is a three inch ball. And you will learn how to even go with a really large ball with this fabric. But then you might need to add some, some flowers to it because it may not be enough to cover the entire thing. If you go larger, I will actually show you how to make a flower with this with this fabric and that will be coming in a bit with the red fabric I used was this beautiful red and this is like a velvet filled fabric this is just something I had in my stash I had it from a old dress or something but you can find these in your stores and it's the stretchy kind you see the stretch and actually the stretch actually helps when you're actually making this bobble but it makes it just look so gorgeous. So I think they carry this type of stretchy velvet in like Joann's and Michael's. I haven't gone to look, but I have seen it before. And this was just happened to be what I had in my stash. So when I design a lot of time, I use what I have in my stash. So that's what I use for the red bubble. For the um, gold bubble, I used um, this beautiful fabric and you can what I'm showing you are different fabrics and what you might want to do is make sure it's not too thick it makes it a little bit easier when you're gonna layer your fabrics and I'll what show you, you is you get your fabric and you place your ball in the middle <laughs> and then you come up and you're going to gather your fabric now if you um, and you are going to actually just wrap the fabric around the ball. Now I have actually done very very detailed instructions on how to do this and usually I, I just come down and I kind of pull up some of the wrinkles as I'm going and then this is what I do with mine is I grab a rubber band. The rubber band really helps a lot. This is just how I figured out to do this. This fabric here is almost like the feel of a lining fabric. I loved it um, because it actually tears very well. So if you want to use it to make something really shabby, it'll work. So you put it around and see it looks kind of messy. So all I do is I go around and I even it out. And you will be, you will, I, I like the look that this gives it, but I do like a little bit of evenness in there. So you mess with it so, and you pull on it 
and you are what I find is I have to hold the rubber band down a little bit but if you make it looser you won't have to do it as much but you can see how I even that out a little bit now let's see something's really wide like this um, you can just pull some of it out here and add the fold here and I just do that and it it's up to you it's not I leave a lot of the, that in and it just looks gorgeous afterwards look at this it's the same method I use uh, my goal is really just to get some some flatness around as much as I can it actually looks better when you use a, a stretchy type fabric because you can get more of the wrinkles out but the wrinkles to me are part of the beauty of this ornament and um, they it just looks still looks gorgeous but it makes my goal is with is to make um, quick and easy ornaments so this is how I did it okay rubber band and then one of the things I want you to know is on the original can you see this beautiful flower the for the large one this is actually this fabric so what I do is I trim my fabric just with the snip I've created a little bit longer than I think I want it because I want to be able to to trim it more if I want or or leave it um, longer if I want now what this becomes is this becomes that center flower can you see the similarities yes the similarities are there so make using all of those petals gives you the flower and then we will place more flowers around it see there okay now okay we're gonna go ahead and get the red one to that point I happen to have less fabric for my red one so I am actually using the larger bobble instead of the smaller bobble for the red one because that's what I used on that one and what I do is if I run low on fabric and it's kind of tight I just make sure I, I connect this first and realize that this stretches so I kind of stretch it upward and you can start seeing how it actually you see how it wraps a little bit better than the other one did so this red velvet is just gorgeous for making this ornament it makes it so so easy so if you want more simple see if you can find a shabby chic color in this just inexpensive stretchy red fabric okay can you see how much faster that was so make sure you cut it and you straighten this out as much as you please I'm gonna leave it like this because I want you to see the result of this I mean so normally I would work a little bit more on this one um, the red one it actually needs a tiny bit more but not much it was a lot faster because it's stretchy fabric all right I am not going to go into deep detail on how to um, to melt fabric but that's what I did with this fabric uh, with this flower this fabric that I sent you it's so it, it, it melts so beautiful and it also gives you a little bit of a black so don't be afraid because unless you don't want it keep just keep it not too close and I'm just melting it um, if you want details instructions on how to do this I have um, a series out on melting flower techniques and the and even on my pink bubble that I made very similar to this one it actually is the same and so I kind of seal all the ends on the top and they do turn with this fabric it turns a little bit a little bit of a color it turns a little brown which I think gives it character you can also do a little on the sides if you want them to to fold in a little more to give your flower character and now realizing if you do not know how to to do this melting technique one of the biggest things that when I was learning how that I didn't understand when people were teaching me was that you never ever put the candle in the flame I thought they were waving it across the flame but that's not what they were doing they're allowing just the heat that comes up from the candle to melt the flower and can you see how it changed that flower a little bit so now look at that gorgeous gorgeous flower I want you to see the red one now can you see the red I hopefully you can see it up close I want you to look at the differences see this one and see this one this one I actually melted a little bit and it has a little bit of dark along the edges that gives your flower that beautiful character so I'm going to do actually 
a similar with this this fabric is a synthetic fabric and many synthetics they um, melt really well okay now can you see how gorgeous that looks it looks like a gorgeous flower now and this is one of the, the tweaks I've made on this technique is I'm using that fabric because I'm using synthetics sometimes I use cotton you can also do it with the cotton but I'm using these synthetics that you can just make them look so gorgeous with a light light amount of melting again please go over to my channel I show you clearly how I do this can you see both of those how gorgeous they look on top they have a tiny bit of black that's part of the style and the design of my product okay so if you get this kit you will need to provide if you want to I'm going to be using some straight pins the straight pins are not going to keep it down but just help me help me I'll show you that in a bit and the other thing of course you need to provide is the rubber band I did not put a rubber band nor straight pins in your this kit is the beautiful trim that I used and all I did was wrap it right around and you'll see how gorgeous it is it just made it look very gorgeous but one of the things I want you to see when you're making your own, I want you to use what's in your stash. So if you find a beautiful um, lace trim like this and you try it on, I always try it and see what does it look like. And what I could see when I was trying this on was that this was very far away and it wasn't going to lay flat. Look at how it's going to sit. So look at how it's going to sit. So this particular one, what I decided to do is I decided to trim off this little edge. But you can actually save this little edge after you trim it off so that you can actually add it to your ornament if you want to the, the detail. One of the things about these types of trims is that like a beaded um, appliques for a wedding dress, they actually will lose their beads and things like that when you cut it. So for yours, all I did was put some, some scotch tape on the edges. Okay, so I cut all of that off. Now you decide how detailed you want to be. I wasn't that detailed. <laughs> and um, when I put this on, I, I made my design, I decided to put the circles on top. But you, for by all means, you can actually put it here along the edge this way which um, I think will look nice also but I decided to put mine on top so you you can decide that which do you like so that's the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on and all I'm doing is eyeing I'm calling kind of looking here and looking here and I'm kind of eye the center of it right now and um, since I have plenty I'm holding it tight on this side and I think that looks okay but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these straight pins because this is a styrofoam ball. I realized, oh, that would be very helpful. I'm not going to leave these in. Or you can you can actually leave them in. It's not, not a big deal. You can leave them in there as long as you don't mind how they look. Because these ones have little silver pins on them. And I think the silver pins look really good. If you wish, you can actually just use your pins. I, I thought that was funny because... One of my subscribers was telling me that she, it reminded her of having been years ago made ornaments with her family and that they would use straight pins. But I realized that the straight pins are a great holder for my, so that it's not moving around. So I get it pretty even. You don't have to put it on every circle or every spot, but just where enough so it partially on you see that but I'm going to actually glue it on and you can decide to glue it on if you want and most of the pins you can't even see them because they're silver so you can actually leave them in there if you wish but um, I'm going to go ahead and start with this with this here it's kind of pulling up a little bit so as I place this on, I'm actually stretching it a little bit. The stretch just helps it to hug the ball, but the glue will also help it to hug the ball. So I'm just doing a little stretch, not a lot. And I'm actually just tacking down this edge. And um, a little. So see, I stretched it. And you need to hold it a second. Hold it just a little bit. 
so that it'll stick. Now you can use whatever means that you want to attach it, but I want you to see how close that looks. That's pretty darn close to being nice and snug around the ball. And this particular one is not hanging away from the ball, so um, you can just simply come along and just glue just this little bit here, if you wish. Or you can take off all the pins and go along doing the entire thing, but this is I'm using my little scissors here is I'm going to trim it so it's very close and you can if you wish actually put because you're gonna lose some of these um, these sequins and these beads when you trim it you're gonna lose a few but you make sure that you glue a little bit on it wherever you see that they're just a tiny bit of glue just to help to keep those on that you think might come loose more because that's fine if we lost a few okay because this one's going to go right over it. So now the next thing is decide how do I want to glue this on top. And what I see is actually fits perfect on this small ball. And this circle lines up with that circle. See that? So I'm going to glue this circle on top of this circle. And then, then I will cut it. glued all the way along that edge and now you're going to come up and glue along this edge. all done all done putting that around now we also have this done now before I forget um, we're going to put the um, hanger in this time, I think I show you a different way to do it on the pink bobble, where we actually, you know, put it on the side. But this time, I'm going to put it in the center. And you need to add this, this hanger on after you do your melting. I mean, you can do it before, but you'll have to work around the, the hanger. So what all I do is I go here and I stretch it open like this. Like this. And I put, huh, you can put a little glue and I kind of just put it all the way around here. If it melts, oh well, you're you're actually not going to see that. And then put your your beads inside there, the tips of both beads. Stick them in there, make sure they're in there. You can use your tool. And then I squeeze. And I squeeze. So I'm I'm gluing it. And you can actually add more glue after that too if you, you feel like it needs more. But you can see how that flower is its right in the center of the flower. So that's how this design was. I have, like I said, go to my pink bobble tutorial for more details on how to melt, melt this and um, how to, a different way of attaching it where I show you that. But see that Okay, beautiful. next I want you to cover the rubber band. Now you can use a variety of things. I, I think this looks pretty. I took the little piece that I had left over and look you can just wrap it right around and the rubber bands covered easy simple dimple you can actually um, cut like make this shorter and make sure you have enough but then use wrap the beads around it but we're gonna it's gonna all get covered it's more a matter of just making sure you can't see it because it is red or you can take a piece of the fabric and I just took a piece of the fabric and you could use it around the rubber band. You see that, how easy anything. So if you have a different purpose for using this, then use those other things. So here I go, I'm gonna use this because it's what I like.
simple bow um, and we're using scraps we're using the scraps from that fabric I remember I gave you enough fabric to do whatever you wish and I just took it as wide as I wanted it let's measure it just so you know how wide I made it I made it about a little about an inch and I'm just going to fold it over I'm going to trim it straight so that when I fold it over Let's just fold it. If you start watching my channel, you are going to find that I am a very frugal crafter. And I will teach you shortcuts on how to do things where you're using what you have. And what I'm going to use is... Since I know all of these flowers are um, are going to be cut short, I'm going to use the wire. <laughs> That's me. So here I have this piece. So I'm just going to put this bow on. Glue it on. And you decide where. So I did the bow when I designed this. I put a bow on. And then I um, get all your little flowers and cut them. Let me see how short I cut them. I, I, cu I would cut them to about half an inch or so. Okay, here I am back. I cleaned up a little bit and I trimmed off all those flowers, okay? I gave you some gorgeous flowers in there. And what we're going to do next is place the flowers. Now, I took two that look like this. I actually gave you four that look like this. They're just gorgeous little flowers. And let me put this in front of you so you can see what I did. And I just stuck, put them in kind of sideways here, like this. See that and I just played around with it till I thought it I liked it I'm actually sticking the stem kind of behind the bow kind of behind the bow and I'm letting um, the color of the green I'm allowing the green part to seek through now if you guys don't remember I I did say that on my other other channels I we just recently adopted a a little boy We've had him since he was eight months old. We thought he was going to be going back to his mommy. He never did. And we have a new baby in, in our family. So he just recently got adopted. And we are so happy because he's such a gorgeous little boy. And we just love him. And he makes a lot of noise. <laughs> Yes, so you, if you hear noise, that's who it is. It's my baby. And he's being a good boy and he's playing for whiles on his own. You will find that I will, dis I will, you know, sometimes my videos will be like at different times of the day. Because I could stop just all of a sudden and then have to come back later. So, please keep that in mind as you're watching my show. Whenever you see see something going on and I'll look how pretty that looks and I what I did is that when I'm putting this in don't don't leave the wires too long and then you can you once it dries a little bit and also as you're attaching it you can use the wire to bend it to look the way you want it to forward or back or sideways whichever way you want it so if you want more of this bow to go in there. I'll put the bow more in there. You see that? Just push it down. If you want, if you felt like, feel like you made your bow too big. Oh my, and I should measure that bow, shouldn't I? Let's measure the bow. The bow is about, um, I'd say, let's see, it's not quite two inches, one and a, one and three quarters, one and a half. So maybe around one and a half inches is what mine is. But I am pulling it forward a little bit. Because I do want these beautiful flowers to show. Um, I like that. And then you're going to, you can also take this bow 
and make it take up less room by sticking. I, I stuck this in there. I am in no way a great bow maker. I just do it. You can leave it like that. You can save those flowers for something else or you can keep on going like I'm going to show you. So I did what I did is I staggered here. I have these flowers with this little coming out and then I have another one of these. See that? Then I have a different flower here which I gave you. You can choose actually because I gave you an extra one. You can choose between this one and this one. They're both come on each side. Like this one. Um, you can change the order. I give you creative license to change the order. And how, really, I'm making them peek up, upward a little bit. So I kind of look like that, and I want it to be right there. That's where I want to put it, but you can change that. Ooh. You'll find with me that I think that I like to give you ideas and I like you to make it your own. You don't have to be um, completely symmetrical. Symmetry is not, not necessary, but can you see how they are laying right there? I just stuck them in there and you and after it dries you, it can actually still be bent now see I'm going all the way around mm -hmm. and you can, like you can add more glue later don't feel like um so now you're going to choose, I, I have two extra flowers in here, you can choose the big one to put in there, slightly bigger. Or where's the little one? Just fell. I know you guys saw where it went, right? Where did it go? Oh, it's right there. Well, it's, it's all stuck. This is, this is, yes, sweetheart, yes.